Got a question today featuring a car accident. Joining us are award-winning attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Cern. Bowley, guys, great to see you today. Before we do anything else, I have to wish my wife a happy 40th birthday today. Ooh, happy, happy birthday. birthday happy birthday to Mrs. Sarah Bowley. Uh, wow, big wow. one. God, <laughs> man, you, better, you better get going here. you got to get uh, taking care of those birthday plans yes. for tonight. Well, okay. the question today involves an accident, and this is from Gino in Old Forge. I was a passenger in my brother's car, which was in a crash. The crash was my brother's fault, but my back seat snapped back in the crash, causing me to fly back and sustain a permanent neck injury. Is there anything I can do? I really don't want to sue my brother. What can these uh, siblings do in this case here? Well, uh, Gino, you may have a product liability case, and we had a very similar uh, case like this in our office a, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and there, there are some uh, cases out there where the, the seat back um, snaps and, it's a, and it is a defect. So if it's a defect of, of the product in the car, you can sue the manufacturer of the car, maybe possibly the manufacturer of the seat as well, because obviously the seat shouldn't be doing that uh, in whenever you're involved in a, a car wreck. But they're probably going to join your brother anyways, even if you have to, do have to sue them. So I don't think that there's going to be any way that you're going to be able to keep your brother totally out of the mix here. Mm -hmm. Ed, Ed's right. I mean, they're going to look at any cause of action against anybody who's at fault. So your brother was at fault, the seat failed. So, you know, it's more likely than not you're going to have to sue him. And the, those product, those, those seat failure cases are very, very difficult cases. Obviously, I think we would need more facts to really take yeah. a look at it because, you know, the, the, we'd have to know more about the damages to you, the injuries. And did you keep the seat? Do you have pictures of it? Did someone look at it? There's a lot of different issues. Make that and model the car. Yeah, there's a lot we need to know. But, it, 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 you know, the, we've seen them. We've handled them. They're interesting cases. Yeah, I know you guys handle stuff like this. And mm -hmm. our viewers that may find themselves in a car accident and injured and are not sure what to do, how can they get in touch with you? They could call us at 570. 714 Hertz. They could see us on the web at 714Hurt.com and they can also call the hotline. Oh, the hotline. Oh. Uh, or go to our Facebook page. And, and, and just so you know, if you ever have a question like this, it's a free consultation. We don't right. charge you any money for this. Uh, if you have a question you know, involving a product or something of that nature, put it on there. We'll do our best to answer it. And finally, honey, you don't look a day over 35. <laughs> You're a wow. good man, Ed. A good man. Wow. Award-winning attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Of course, you can get your question featured right here on The Law on You by visiting pahomepage.com or giving us a call on the hotline.